Alright, so now that we've got that taken care of, let's come in here and uh, really quick, something that's bugging me is this uh, title. Go ahead and clear out all the variables here and the PHP tags. And let's just put in login. Or actually, admin login. Just for now. Let's save that. So we've seen what we do here with the uh, if post, etc. Let's go ahead and take this out because we definitely don't want to display someone's password and username on the screen. That's not very secure. So we're going to do a few things up here at the very top of the document. So underneath the uh, database connection, let's go ahead and do if post. And inside here, we're going to need to come in here and run a query to see if the email and password exist. So let's go ahead and do Q equals. I'll go ahead and close that now. We're going to do select. All from users. And then we need to ask it a question where email equals. Now we need to insert the email address here. So in single quotes, we're going to do post. And then remember inside this query here, we don't need to put the single quotes inside the key. We need to put the single quotes around the whole thing. So we need to do post email. And then and password equals now this thing we need to do a little bit differently because if we just simply do the post password this is pretty much going to fail because if I type in the password and it goes and looks for it it's not going to be there anymore because uh, let's take a look at that users table. So we go over here and you see this is what happened when our password was encrypted. So technically this is our password now. So we need to re-encrypt what was typed into the password field here and as long as you typed in the exact same thing that's in the database before it was encrypted, the encryption should match. So our password is actually password. So when I type in password here, we need to make sure that we run the encryption again. We're going to run a function inside of MySQL here. So we need to do SHA1 and then parentheses. <coughs> and this post password this needs to be inside those parentheses. So highlight this from single quote to single quote, cut that, and paste it inside the parentheses here. So now that's going to match up. So if, as long as I type in the word password, which again is my password, then it's going to run the encryption, which means the value should have turned into this string here, which means it's going to match. So now that we've got that in, we need to run the query and get the result. We're going to store the result into a variable called r, mysqli underscore query, and uh, to give it the dbc, and send it the query, which is q. And there you go. Now we need to see if there was a result. So we're going to use the MySQL number of rows function. Uh, it's written a little different than that, but let's go ahead and create a variable. We'll call this num mysqli num underscore rows. 
and the parameter it's going to want is our result, so R. And this is going to return the amount of rows that were found when we ran this query. So hopefully it should only find one, which means num would equal to one. So now we can check against that. So we can do if num is equal to, remember, two equals is equal to one, then do something. Now on line 11, I did this just as an example. So you could store the uh, number of rows returned here in this variable. Um, but we're only going to use this once, so we don't actually need the variable. What we can do is actually just cut this here out, minus the uh, semicolon, and replace num with that. And let's go ahead and get rid of line 11 altogether. So this is going to be the same thing, just less code. So as long as it's equal to 1, then we can go ahead and set up our session. If it's not equal to 1, then we're not going to set up the session. So really quick, before we do this, we need to go up and start a session again. So up here on line 2, hit enter a couple times. And you do session start. So that's running. And now we can actually assign values. So we want to make sure that we have a username set up. Because in the index, remember, we're checking to see if the username key has a value. So in here, we can do session in our square brackets and then username and this could be whatever you want it to be we're gonna call it username equals and then we're gonna have it match the post email as long as that's been done then we can go ahead and redirect us so we'll do header and location index.php so we'll go ahead and save this and let's go try it out go ahead and open the page again um, and I say open the page again because sometimes when you're messing with forms if you try to do a refresh it's going to ask you to send the values again so I just come up here and hit enter to open it again. Um, so I need to put the proper values in here, which my username is going to be my email address. So alan at alan.com. Alan at alan.com. And then our password is password, all lowercase. Submit. There you go. I'm logged in. So I can say save password. There you go.